Hello there. As you know, I'm a little bit of a geek that likes technology and I'm kind of having moved house recently. I'm always looking at ways of improving the house, making it more technological. Well, a company called Tado reached out to me. They haven't paid for this review, but they have sent me a product to take a look at. Uh, it's a smart central heating system. It's Tado's smart thermostat system. Uh, they've sent me a load of stuff. I've installed it. I'm going to review it, going to show you, you know, whether or not it's any good. I mean, a little hint for you, it is good because I wouldn't have installed it in my home and taken the time to do it if it was rubbish. So thank you to Tado for sending this. They've sent me their Starter Kit V3 Plus wireless smart thermostat, which I can find on the internet at the moment for about £130 on offer in various places. I'll try and leave a link to some of these things down below. And they've sent me six of their smart radiator thermostats. You can get about four of them for £170. And they did offer to have somebody install this for me, but I thought, no, you know, you have got a degree in computing and electronics and a PhD in computing. If you can't set this up, it is a sad state of affairs. So I did have a go myself. You do have to turn your brain on. You can always get an expert if you're not comfortable. And actually in the Tado app, it actually gives you a link to contact local experts who can install it for you. But if you're kind of technologically minded and sensible, just a lot, probably about an hour and a half to two hours to put the whole thing together um, and you'll be up and away. And actually I'll never look back actually. I feel like I'm living in the future. So I'll talk about this last. Let's actually talk about these uh, radiator thermostats. So you may have a thermostatic valve on your radiator at the moment. It's a little knob that you turn that goes from say naught to five and you can supposedly control the temperature of the radiator, but they're a bit flaky and you never know really what temperature the radiator is at. These actually allow you to control the temperature of your radiator. You get a little digital readout that shows you what the current temperature is and you can uh, set the desired temperature as well. The good thing about this Tado stuff in general is that it looks technological and modern without looking kind of completely out of place. It does just look like a normal radiator valve but you know as soon as you go to use it you know it's a piece of decent tech. In these, you, you get a load of adapters in case your uh, valves on your radiator aren't kind of the standard ones that most people use, but mainly you get the radiator thermostat. And the installation process is really straightforward. Basically, you download the app on your phone, you link your Tado account to your radiator thermostat by scanning the barcode on the thermostat. Uh, and then it gives you a really detailed kind of text and animation based guide on how to install it step by step and it is really exceptionally straightforward. It calibrates and you are ready to go. So I installed these in six rooms in my house. I didn't get the thermostats out of this box but I did get the internet bridge and set that up. Once that's done um, and I, they're added to the app you can do cool things using this is really cool by the way. I've got a Google Nest Mini smart speaker there and I can say things like, um, okay Google, what's the temperature in the lounge? Heating is set to 23 degrees with a current temperature of 21 degrees. It's compatible with the Apple HomeKit, Alexa and the Google Assistant. You twist a little knob on the top and that little digital display goes off when it's not in use. So it saves batteries because they have got, I think, something like two AA batteries in. But one thing I really like about this, I've always liked sort of electronic motory noises. Set the temperature in the lounge to 20 degrees. Setting lounge to 20 degrees makes like an electronic worry noise, which I absolutely love. It's in along the same lines as the electronic parking brake in my car. Love it. I'm not even at the app and stuff yet, but you know, you can imagine you can have different temperatures in different rooms and know what the actual temperatures are. And in terms of money saving, which we will get to later on, you know, if you're not heating rooms unnecessarily, you know, you might not realize that a room is at like 22 degrees when you never go in there it saves money to not heat rooms unnecessarily. And at the moment with the price of energy as high as it is, certainly here in the UK, it makes sense to try and save money. So then we get to the wireless smart thermostat. I had an old NAF wired Honeywell thermostat um, and programmer. 
I was able to register the new wireless receiver and wireless thermostat to the Tado app and it asked for the model number of my existing system which I was able to find on a flap on the programmer and it gave me tailored guides for replacing my existing system with this new one and it was absolutely first class so follow the instructions exactly you know things like make sure you turn all the electricity off so you don't electrocute yourself probably took me about an hour to an hour and a half to do the whole thing because i was kind of doing it a bit slowly and trying to film it as i went along remove these ugly old thermostat things and replace them with these kind of slimline, much more attractive and modern looking thermostats. And now that they are installed, I can actually control my water as well. Okay, Google, can you turn the hot water on, please? Changing the hot water to on. Ooh, that's good, but I don't want it on actually. So, um, okay, Google, can you turn the hot water off, please? Um, there's a button on the wireless thermostat thing. I could have put it anywhere in my home, but in the hall is quite a good central location in my home. So, you know, quite a good place to just go up to it, press the button on it, and it tells me the current temperature, target temperature. And from that, you can increase the temperature and decrease the temperature or use your 30 quid smart speaker to control it. It's entirely up to you. The app itself is really quite impressive. Essentially, the app gives you an icon for each room in your home, showing you the temperature in those rooms. But by clicking on each room, you can see the current temperature, increase or lower the temperature. My absolute favorite thing, and this is really where you get an idea of uh, how much money you could save and how this system actually is working, there's a kind of graph button you can press that shows you the temperature in that room over time and it shows you when the radiator thermostat has been turned on, how much it's been turned on. So you can see in these pictures that for this particular room, the heating has been coming on in bursts over the day and then turning off as the heating goes up and it doesn't need to stay on. Um, it also adapts to the weather outside because obviously if it's getting warmer outside, you don't need your heating to be on as much. It shows you the humidity in the room, which is really good as well because if you've got high humidity, you want to think about turning your heating on. It's got open window detection. So if you've got a window open, there's no point in having a radiator on high heating the room because all the heat's going out the window. There is a smart schedule thing. So one of the things I was most kind of worried about, the difference between this and my old Honeywell system was I like to have funny schedules set up. You know, Monday to Friday, I want the heating on from seven till nine, but then I go to work and I don't want it on, but then I want it on in the evening when I come back. You can do all that in the app. So that's exactly what I've got set up. I've got different target temperatures in the different rooms. The app also has geofencing. When you're home, obviously you want the heating on. Perhaps when you're away, you only want it heating slightly. I've already found that works really well for me because I can set the sort of ambient temperature to 15 degrees, which isn't hot enough if I was here, but it's just hot enough to take the chill off things, stop things getting damp and moldy. Um, so I have that set up when I'm away and then when I'm home, the heating comes on. Now there is a sort of subscription service you can use. So basically what the subscription does is it allows you to do things automatically. So if you don't have the subscription, still eminently usable, you just get a notification on your phone when you've gone away from your home, it'll say you've gone away, so then you have to manually turn your uh, thermostat onto away mode. The same with the weather adaptation and I think the open window detection as well. So if you want those things to happen automatically, you want it, then you need the subscription, but otherwise, you know, you don't. So you can use the GPS on your phone to automatically work out whether you're home or away. And here's the great bit, you can actually work out whether you're coming home and preheat it in advance so that you're nice and toasty when you get back. The way I've been using the app is I've been having it set to away when I'm not here. But if I've maybe gone out in the evening with some friends, just as we're saying, oh yeah, I think it's time to go home, I open the app and I change, put the heating to high just in my bedroom actually so that I'm nice and toasty and warm in my bedroom and everywhere else is all right but it's just a kind of more efficient way of 
heating your home, isn't it? Otherwise, if you had just a, say, a timer that, where it always comes on at eight in the evening till 10, your rooms might be cold by the time you get back, or perhaps you're not coming back to your place at all for whatever reason, and uh, you know your heating's come on for, on full pointlessly because you weren't able to control it on your app. So it just gives you more control. I mean, in this day and age, with all the smart technology and stuff that we have everywhere, why wouldn't you be controlling your central heating in a more considered way? There are some additional features, boiler repair services, so they do have technical services for fixing boilers and things, and you can sign up to those if you want. It can detect faults in your system. Insightful reports here, so as well as those kind of graphs, which I just really love the look of. It can also do things like you can put in your tariff. I think that's called Energy IQ. You can input your meter readings and your tariff and it'll give you a kind of estimate of what your bill and your usage will actually be. So it's kind of all your heating information all in one place, which is, you know, quite useful. I mean, you know, there are different degrees here, I think, depending on how much, how involved you want to be. If you just want to set it up and leave it, it will manage your heating and you will be happy with it. But if you're a geek and you want to kind of delve a little bit deeper or you're interested in saving money and you want to try out different settings in your home and see what works for you, then there's also that option for you as well. But already using this, I would say I personally have cut my energy usage down by about half. They don't make claims like that. They make a claim like on average you save something like 20 something percent those automatic controls and the room by kind of controlling the temperature individually in your rooms they say that it's 22 percent on average people save on their energy bills which is quite a claim and i can believe it actually but i think the thing is i was heating my home for a couple of hours each morning up to the full temperature but the fact is that isn't an efficient way of keeping the temperature up because it costs a lot to start with and then the temperature drops off slowly throughout the day. Uh, but you know, you've know got no guarantee then that your house is at your desired minimum temperature. So it's much more efficient, it turns out, to just have my heating on at a very low level and then it costs something like 30 pence or something to heat my house just to 15 degrees while I'm not here. So I'm really absolutely loving this and I'm extremely grateful for Tado. If you're in the market for a smart central heating system, do consider Tado and I will leave a link, as I said, to all this Tado stuff down below. There'll be affiliate links, so I'll make a little bit of commission if you buy it. If you've got any questions about this Tado smart central heating, write it down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks very much to my loyal patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially Georgefoot, Magnanimous Meg, Jennifer Jones and Rob Van Eden, who are extremely generous patrons. And I shall see you next time for another video.